have a, you have a Shia, you have a, you have Sunni Muslims. They are in in quite different way of 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 of, uh, of, uh, of arrangement that that Bosnia and Herzegovina had. And more or less, you have a certain territories where certain certain uh, uh, peoples have clear majority. In Bosnia, there was not uh, that much. You, you had certain counties that that have uh, and and certain certain areas, but uh, not that not not uh, not uh, not on that way uh, divided like Iraq. And Iraq is uh, will will be will be also uh, also harder if you compare. With, uh, uh, with the intervention in, uh, in, uh, in Iraq in 2003 that wasn't agreed on, and in Bosnia and Herzegovina, firstly, everybody signed that they are ready to accept, and that is a huge difference between, between two. That means that when, we are, when we are talking about Iraq, we are talking about the very beginning of But when the Dayton Peace Accords were, were, uh, was signed, it was obvious that all sides signed and agreed on and that's the, 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 the that is the that is the huge difference and iraq i would i would say frankly speaking as uh, somebody who is uh, who is uh, following what, what is happening over there should have huge effort really huge effort to see the light from the tunnel huge effort effort by the international community but first of all effort of their own uh, of their own people, effort of their own, I would say, elite, elite of, 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 of those people. And then to have a real, real facilitation, nothing to impose, but real facilitation, real goodwill of facilitation from the side of the international community. Um, I just came back from my second trip to Serbia this year. And um, what really struck me was the reinforcing cleavages of ethnicity and religion. The Serbs are all quite orthodox, and the Croats are Catholic, and the Bosnians uh, are Muslim. Um, and correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems to me that's an overlay that is not present in Iraq, it's not present in Lebanon, um, and it um, appears to be the reason that Bosnia and Kosovo are the last pieces of Yugoslavia um, still under some instability. Um, Am I right at that? Well, that's, uh, that, that, that's, the, the, that's, that, that's something that is, uh, that is uh, specific for the region. And I, don't, I couldn't say that's, uh, that, that is something that is bad or something that is wrong. I don't know. It's, uh, it's, it, it is the legacy of the past. It is the legacy of the, uh, legacy of the past, and I think we could live with that. I don't see the reason if, uh, if, uh, if somebody is saying that he's uh, Catholic Croat, or he is a Muslim Albanian, or, or he is uh, Orthodox Serb. Why, uh, why that will uh, will bring uh, some uh, uh, some uh, bad feelings or so? Well, the whole Europe is uh, is uh, is uh, is a uh, whole European society and European values are are based on that. You have you have all these things in uh, Europe, Europe, uh, Europe wide. You have. Uh, you have Irish that are Catholics. You have uh, you have uh, Basques that are Catholics. You have uh, you have uh, Greeks that are Orthodox. You have uh, uh, Albanians that are Muslims and Orthodox and Christian and, and, and Catholics. Well, I don't know. It's uh, somewhere. It's it's strictly linked. You're strictly linked with uh, all Portuguese are almost Catholics as well. It's it's very hard to it's very hard to to. Uh, uh, to derive any any kind of uh, to to develop any kind of uh, of conclusion because of that. Well, I would I would have uh, a few comments on that. First of all, you know very well that uh, international community in early 1990s was very divided. 
in terms of what is happening in the Balkans and which way they, that should go. You know that, uh, that uh, United States and the and United Kingdom, some other Western powers, were very much for preserving Yugoslavia at the beginning. And at the same time, Germany pushed strongly for the dissolution of Yugoslavia. And uh, that means that at least in first two years of the crisis, international community from all points of view, legal, political, uh, any, any other, was very divided uh, on, on the issue. Regarding Darfur, I don't see that. More or less, uh, more or less international community maybe is not divided on the way how to do it. But uh, everybody is uh, everybody is acknowledging what is uh, every, everybody is acknowledging what is happening. In in uh, in Yugoslavia was were two factors: division within the international community and also huge, I would say, surprise. What is happening and how fast is developing? Nobody predicted in an, uh, from the side of international community uh, about that. Nobody. Even in, March, uh, even in March 1992, February 1992, United States were, uh, uh, was still very much uh, uh, on, on, the, on, the, on the side to preserve former Yugoslavia. And then things, uh, things turned later. That means that uh, that, uh, uh, that division and also surprise and, uh, and, uh, and underestimation what may happen in former Yugoslavia made uh, made uh, international community kind of um, uh, rigid in, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, pushing ahead. And also, with, uh, I, I think, uh, I think uh, personally, that's ver my very personal view, if they made effort in, 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 in 19, uh, late 1980s and early 1990s to preserve Yugoslavia like they are putting effort in the whole region uh, uh, these years, I think uh, we will have quite different, uh, quite different story today. But unfortunately, they, they didn't, and uh, things happened on the ground uh, how that uh, how, how happened. But uh, I will also refer to one, uh, one, uh, one conversation that we had when the President uh, uh, Tichic uh, came uh, here for the event of the general debate. And we were talking uh, with uh, other dignitaries, and uh, I will not name the person, but uh, from the UN uh, uh, explaining that uh, how uh, Bosnia was uh, very... Uh, very much uh, disappointed with uh, so long a period of time uh, that passed uh, since uh, uh, since uh, since uh, uh, the uh, real involvement started, but uh, but uh, the answer was well you are in Europe and that took only three and a half years in Congo it took 15 years. It, very, it, it is very. It, 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 it depends on, on the on the perspective, and if uh, if if you're analyzing, for example, that situation or Angola situation with uh, with uh, with our situation, we should be happy. But if we compare with uh, with with what could be prevented and what could be done on the ground, if something uh, something uh, happened on 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 the on side of international community regarding uh, regarding. Uh, uh, better analysis of what is going to happen, that's, that is also the other, other side of the medal. I'm sorry to ask you a question, but at the beginning of your talk, you said that the erosion started because Slovenia wanted to be... In. No, I said with. I didn't say because. I said with. with. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That the German view was that Yugoslavia should be dissolved. Um, some of us have been thinking about this and have asked ourselves the question that if it was Germany which was pushing for the dissolution of Yugoslavia, and we know that Germany thought that they were increasing their zone of influence by getting Slovenia and Croatia into African independent states. There is a hypothetical question first. If we had resisted that German attempt, 